Hi everyone. So, okay, so going along with the last video, um, how in the world do you become, you know, not a farmed farm animal? How in the world do you not get farmed? <laughs> um, at least on the surface of the earth. Okay. So, yep, I'm going full witchy and full spiritual again, obviously. And by the way, how do you like my hat? This is another little haul. I like this hat better than the other one. Uh, even though it doesn't fit on camera and the brim stands straight up. But I, I like it. I like it a lot. So, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm going full witchy again on this one. I hope that you can hear me. I, I had to crack the window. There was no air in here at all. So, how do you help yourself out? Meditate. Meditate, meditate, meditate. And if you cannot meditate for the life of you, um, you know, then... Literally, what I have found that has worked for me is this book. This book right here. The Silva Mind Control Method by Jose Silva. And so, get that book. And essentially, all it's saying is count back from 100. That, that's, that's all you do. That's all you do. You just get comfortable, get in a quiet place that you're not going to be bothered. And on every second, count back from 100. And supposedly by the time you reach zero, and you do say zero, um, yeah, you're supposed to be in a meditative state. And it's not going to feel like that at first. It definitely does not feel like that at first. But eventually you will start falling into a meditative state. And eventually you will start connecting to otherworldly realms and that's how you'll know that you're there and that it's working um you'll get answers that you haven't had before it it ends up being very much at least for me it ends up being very much like these uh i don't know when people say that they've taken acid trips and mushroom trips it ends up kind of being like that you know um sometimes i don't know i don't know if it's more powerful i've never taken acid so i don't know um <laughs> you know uh but as far as I can tell, it ends up just as powerful. Um, so yeah, the Silva mind control method, get that book. I don't care what anybody has said to you. And this, this is what I mean by the prejudice. This is what I mean by the caste system. If you are saying, oh, that's a pile of crap. Oh, I found out that he was, you know, just a grifter. He was just taking money. He was a liar, all this stuff. Everything that you've been taught is a lie. And this is where the witchcraft um, stuff comes in. I was taught that astrology is a lie. I was taught that tarot cards are a lie. Turns out that they're real. They tell the truth. Um, turns out that astrology is real. It tells the truth. Everything that you've been taught that is a lie, it is the truth. And go after it. Follow it. The first thing, if, if you've been taught that this is a lie... This is the first thing that you need to look into and not with a mind of skepticism, but with a mind of openness and belief and believing it. You need to look into it with a mind of believing it because it is the truth and it is real. I don't care how unbelievable it is. I don't care how impossible it is. I don't care how much of, you know, I don't care how quote evil and satanic unquote it feels to you. I, the other thing that I found out, and this is another little witchy tip the more evil it feels, the more it means that the evils in this world are trying to keep you away from it because it has, it has knowledge and it is knowledge that they don't want you to know or you to have. Their whole point is taking away your power. If you're a woman at all, you know that. The whole point of everything is to take away your power. If you're, I mean, if you're homeless, if you're, if you're black, if, if you're gay, bi, transgender, you know, questioning queer asexual if if you've been a nerd if you've been a geek realize that the running theme in everybody's life is to take away their power and make it so that your word is not taken as truth and to make it so that official words you know that only the officials words are believed and that you as an everyday person are not believed
I have learned my lesson to not believe anyone official and any official accounts or words or statistics or anything. I was taught in math class in college, literally by a college professor, that math statistics are so easy to skew. It is incredible. They can make it look like whatever. They can make the lie look like a truth. That is what this one guy on Twitter keeps talking about when he keeps telling the truth on, you know, this cop agenda that he keeps talking about. Literally, they're skewing the numbers and making it look like something that it's not. And you can do that via mathematics. And you can do that very easily via mathematics. No trouble at all. So if you've been told it's a lie, that is the thing that is a truth. Look into it, look into it, look into it. Do not ignore it. Do whatever it is. Read whatever it is. One of the most freeing things is to look into that which is called evil, that which is called dark, that which is called a lie. And just mess around with it and find out that, oh my God, it is the truth. And this has actually healed my soul. This is not, you know, I was taught that yoga is satanic. I was taught that tarot cards are satanic. I was taught that, you know, and there, I'm not the only one. I was taught, my mother was taught that her own brother who is gay, was a sick predator pedophile because he was gay. She was taught that all gay men are just raging, horny sickos and they're out to rape all the children. And so she kept my brother specifically, but all of us kids away from her own, her own brother. What you've been taught is a lie. Okay? Listen to me. What you've been taught is a lie. And there are people in religions and in Christianity and in Muslim and in Buddhism right now today that are being taught these lies right now. And across the board, all of these established religions say stay away from gay people, bi people, transgender people. They're all evil. Stay away from tarot cards, meditation, you know, yoga all kinds of stuff. It's all evil. Stay away from, you know, Wicca and witchcraft. It's evil. It's not evil. It is good. It is the truth. And it can heal you. It can save you. You know, they're saying that herbalists and herbology is a pile of shit. It's not a pile of shit. It can heal you and, can, and, it, and it can save you. And just the fact that it can interact with medications proves that it does have power of some kind. If it has the power to make you sick, then it definitely has the power to at least make certain people healthy and well. You just have to not be allergic to it. Just like penicillin. Penicillin, one person's poison, and that is what they've used to convince people that certain things are evil and dangerous. It's not evil and dangerous. It's just like penicillin. One person's poison is another person's salvation. Penicillin is poison to me. It will kill me. But my own genetic, supposedly genetically and biologically related father, supposedly, can take penicillin. And it has saved his life several times. <laughs> so there you go. So... Just because it doesn't work out for you and it's bad for you when you delve into spiritual stuff doesn't mean it's not going to work out or be good for everyone. You know, you do something and it calls up something bad. That doesn't mean that it's going to call up something bad for someone else. Who knows why things happen, but it's exactly like having a human body. You're going to, you know, you're going to be allergic to certain things. You're going to have certain flavors and tastes that you like. And it's all because of your genetic, biological makeup. The exact same thing is true for spiritual stuff. So there you go. There's no difference at all. I, that's the best explanation I can give. And since this is going on in the 10-minute mark, I'm going to stop it here.